Hi, this lecture is on vector hybrid and semantic search with Azure AI. So how this is done, what we will do is that we will take the data source, we will transform into embeddings and these embeddings are pushed into the Azure AI search which was previously called the Azure Cognitive Search. And when from the app, from here, let's get the pointer. Uh, from the app, we ask a question, we'll transform into the embedding and this is searched on the Azure Cognitive Search or the Azure AI Search Round and then the results are returned back to the app. So let's dive a little bit deeper on how this happens. So what we'll discuss here is these type of searches. A vector search where we will search with the vector and in the vector search there will be an HNSW search and there will be an exhaustive KNN search and then there will be a hybrid search which is a combination of a text and a vector and then we will see a semantic hybrid search with a text vector and a semantic ranker. So the HNSW search is the one which is most commonly used because it is used for low latency applications it is a trade-off between accuracy and latency. It has a high recall. That means all relevant results are returned, but irrelevant results may also be returned. So how it happens? So we break this whole thing into seven steps for uploading the embeddings. So first we create the embeddings, then we configure the index fields, we configure the vector search configuration, we configure the semantic search configuration. We create the index with the vector and the semantic search configuration. We'll create the index and upload the embeddings and the metadata into the index. So let's jump in and see how this is done in practice. So before we jump into the code, what we'll have to do is that we'll have to create the Azure AI search. And you can, you can create it from the Azure portal and what we need to know is that there are two things that we have to do for the semantic ranker we have to choose this one and we have to know also the keys which is required for our program so as mentioned before first we'll create the embeddings so let's create the embeddings so we have the uh, python notebook out here and before that we have the requirements.txt in which we'll do we'll take all these libraries and do a pip install of these libraries uh, with the requirements.txt so that's how we're creating this and now we go into the create embeddings so the create embeddings that is the first notebook here what we are doing is a very simple thing here we are taking a document which is here which is in my file path we are taking the model name. So the model name is here, which we are using the all mini LM L6 V2. That is a sentence transformer and the dimension is 384. I don't think we'll require the dimensions here. We'll take the model name here. We have a function for reading the PDF file and returning the text. We are dividing the text into chunks of chunk length and the default is 500. Now we are taking the file name. We are getting reading the file here. The full text length is this, around 31,000. The number of lines, that is the chunking is happening here, which is 73. And then what we are doing is that we are using the sentence transformer. We are encoding it and we are getting the embeddings. And obviously, since the lines are 73, we are getting the 73 embeddings here. And then what we are doing is that we are looping here and creating a dictionary. And this dictionary is done and in the dictionary there is an id there is a line which is a text this embedding and this is a file name and we create this list out here and then what we are doing is that we are pushing it into a json file and this is in output doc vectors dot json so you can see it here so here if you see the json out here it has got an id line and uh, and this is the embedding and it has got also the file name. So that's done. This completes the embedding. 
Now, next what we do is that we are going to create the index. So for creating the index, what we are doing is that we have to import all these libraries out here. We have to get the search Azure search endpoint. So the Azure search endpoint would be here. So if you go here, if you go to overview and once it comes up, you can see this is the endpoint which you should put out here. The index same which you can name it for me, I have named it the biology as the index name. The admin key is the one that you would require and this admin key is found in the keys. In the keys here, you can go to keys and you can get the key here. And so that's done. You get the model name and then where what we do is that now we are creating the index client. And in this we are creating the fields, the ID, line, file name and the embedding. Please note here that these are all simple fields here and then this is a searchable field. This is another searchable field and then again we are doing this search field which is a vector collection and the vector dimension is 384 and the vector search profile is my NSW profile. So this is done. The vector search is, uh, we are doing the vector search configuration and the vector search configuration has the NHSW algorithm configuration and it has got the exhaustive KNN algorithm configuration. It has got the profiles, the vector search profile, which is, which is the my NH HNSW uh, algorithm and the exhaustive KNN profile has the exhaustive KNN configuration. So this is how it is tied together. You can pause the video a bit to understand a little bit more on that and then we require the semantic configuration. So the semantic configuration we are getting the line and we are getting the keyboard fields as the file name. And this is my semantic configuration. So the semantic search configuration is this and then we have create the search index with the fields which has been mentioned, the vector search configuration and the semantic search configuration. We are creating the index here and here once we have created the index, we are uploading the files here. And now we have uploaded 73 documents out here. So this is the thing which has been done. And if you look here and if you see uh, the indexes. So this is the index which is here. So it has got 73 documents. It has got these fields which we have given the name. And you see this is the thing. It has got a dimension of 384. It has got a semantic configuration which we have given. And we have also got a vector profile which also is given out here. So this is done and now what we do is that once it is done, we go ahead and now we are doing the searching. So the searching as we have said is that we will do, we will do these type of searches. We'll do a vector search, we'll do an HNSW search, we'll do an exhaustive, exhaustive KNN search and we'll do a hybrid search and a semantic hybrid search. So let's see this in action. So we do the usual stuff that is these things. Then we, we get the model name, which is the sentence transformer L6 model. This is a query that is segmentation. We, we create the query vector. And now what we are doing is that we are going to send this query vector. Now we are creating the search client and now we are looking at vector search. Now vector search, you see we are sending it the query vector. The k nearest neighbors is 3, the embedding is the fields embedding. And the search text is done here. We are sending the vector query and we are selecting line and file name. And we get the results and it, it gets a score. And you can see these codes are coming up. The, so this is a pure vector search and so you see that the search text is not given. Next we go on to the hybrid search. So the hybrid search, if you, if you remember, what the hybrid search is, is that you pass the text as well as the vector. 
So here in the hybrid search, we are passing it the query, which is the search text and the vector, and you can see the results here. That is the difference between the pure vector search and hybrid search. It, you are putting it a query as well as the vector, and you are getting it. And then the exhaustive KNN search is one in which we are putting the exhaustive is equal to true, and then you can put it as none, and you can do a vector search also here. So that's done, and then you do a semantic search in which the difference is that here you are passing it the query, you are passing it the vector query, your query type is semantic, and the semantic config is also given, and the query caption is given, and the query answer is given. And now we get the semantic answers which are given. So this is the semantic ranking is being called here. So this completes our lecture on Azure AI search, where we have shown the vector search, uh, gain an exhaustive vector search, a hybrid search, and a semantic hybrid search. Thank you. Bye.